Hello everyone, this is Adventure, and you guys out to Adventures, and here's part two of Tearing Down the Generator. Alright, now this is a, what was that, a Taurus generator? No, it is a Coleman. So, previous video, you saw me tearing it down a little bit, took the carburetor off. So, what we found out was the carburetor had water in it. Too much water to be there from recently, from the rains. And considering that when you pull the cord, I cut it off, but I had to reattach it. The jet, as you can tell that the shaft broke in the piston. It's probably jammed up into the cylinder bore, so it's fucked. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking down the engine and removing some parts in here. And then hopefully I can figure out a way to remove this plastic piece because it's so damn rusted in there I can't get to the board bolts bolts I mean so yeah that is a 10 I need an 11 there you go oh, you son of a bitch to get on through this side. Damn it, I thought I could. No, apparently not. Anyway, we took the carburetor off and all that. Put this in here. Let's see, where can I start from? So apparently, I'm, nope, I had to turn the bolt there too. One moment, second. Okay, back to it. I removed another bolt, so I'm ripping this fucking thing off. Let's see. Take the transistor off there. Okay, here's the power pack and the converter. I don't know if you can see that real good. Yeah, you can. But here's that shit. Alright, how are you moving from there? There we go. Aha! Need to rip this fucking thing off, apparently. <clears throat> Redneck tearing down a Coleman generator. How funny is that? Because the bolts are so damn rusted, <laughs> it doesn't want to come off. Damn it. Alright. Oh. Don't want to knock off the tripod. Hold on a second. Let me get a hacksaw. Uh -huh. Here we are. Nope, that's not gonna work. Oh, I'm blocking the camera here. Damn! Oh, that ain't gonna work. Let's see, I'll flip it there. I'll leg up here. I was just wearing all the work boots for this. Especially on one that's this damnest. Right. Let's see, can I get to the fucking box? Oh, this is 10 millimeter. How oh, nice. That one's 11. Let's see, 11, 10, 10. Here is the stator. Yeah, <laughs> that's fucked. How am I gonna get to that? Oh, I see. Fucking hell. Um, let me think about it for a bit. Let's see. I need a flathead for that. Don't know what I want to. I'm gonna have to look on the inside. The gas tank here is connected uh, somehow. The spark plug removed. Yeah, the connector to the spark plug is gone. Let's see. It feels like it just has one bolt on it. But where is that kind of thing so I can remove the gas tank? Is it buried up under there? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? What's this? Let's use the tin. Fit. No, it won't. It's a 12. 
or 13, one of those two. So I need a torch for that. Mm, and my jammer. Or is that going to be... Yeah, no, that's a... Uh, yeah, Allen key for the exhaust here. Need another Torx. Need a couple Torx bits to remove the carburetor intake into the engine. And then the adjustments here are all riveted, so I'm going to have to take a grinder or some shit to that. Uh, I'm trying to think. What can I also use? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I never went to a professional engineering school, so don't expect much from me. Let's see. Where is the where is the gas tank? I don't see anything on the bottom really. Showing where it's connected. Look it through here. Please don't tell me it's yeah, it's fuck. Hold on, I'm gonna fucking play more. Screwdriver, check, and pry bar. Let's see, where's my... And... Oh, there you go. Aha. There you are. There you are, you goofy little bitch. I'm gonna need a cigarette out of this. I did drain it. Think I'll use that to make a go kart. Yeah, I guess tank's so good. I can use that to make a go kart for sure. Now, how the fuck? Okay, let's look at it some more. I hate this pressure fit, snug fit shit. Let's see. Oh, by 10, by 11. So the could be 12 or 13. Hold on a second. I fucking hate that shit. Twelve, it is thirteen. How nice. Let's see. There we go. Remember to keep your bolts in shape. You never know when you're going to need them for something. And washers, too. Wait, what size is a spark plug? I need to remove that, too. Um. Rest it just enough where you need something to bang on. But if you bang too hard, you may lose a finger. In the carriage world, everything's a hammer. Is this getting on camera? Yes, it is. By the way, y'all, I've been thinking about signing up for that Amazon affiliate program for three reasons. A, I want to be able to bang some cash so we can do projects on this video for everyone to enjoy. And B, I want to be able to get you guys good tools at a discount, similar tools that I trust, such as Craftman, Sears, and Pro Value. You know, it's kind of funny how Harbor Freight tools actually do good if you're not using them for shit. Now then. Yep. Alrighty. Take the washers, put them in a the little bottle here. Hold on. This is all from that engine. Oh, crap, there you go. 
You probably never know when you're gonna need them. Looks like it's gonna be a 19 or 20 mil for that. I told you that there it is a fillet. Hold me back on that side. And probably gonna be something as well. Side. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes here. Ah, there we go. Aha! Oops. Now I'll pick it up over Okay, what's still holding it in? Is it right? Nope. Now we're getting to the engine. Exactly, you should not sit in the corner so no one can yell at you. Alright. Don't know what that's going to be. It looks like a 20 mil. Eey, something melted to it. Anyway, let's see. Need to remove that. I need to remove the exhaust. Because I can remove the exhaust and then remove this jumbled up shit. I should be able to get to the engine and separate it all and look inside the crankcase. I totally forgot what I was saying. Anyway, here's the main wire that comes from the... Huh, okay, okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I have to figure out how to make this shit work. Um, hmm. Alrighty. Allen key is set. Turn this motherfucker. What the hell? I hate this rusted out piece of junk. There we go. Aha! Oh, fuck. Should have sprayed some WD-40 on that. There we go. Alright, that's another bolt we can use. Now, what's holding it on in the back here? Hmm. It is a spot weld. Fuck. Can I just rip it off? No, I cannot. Or is it? Hold on. Oh, it's those little 10 millimeter bolts. That was a weld. No, bolts welded. And screwed. That's one. Here's two. There you go. Coleman can kiss my ass. There's nothing they can make that I can't take apart. Aha! Uh -huh. I had a buddy of mine say you can't take down, you can't take apart a Coleman engine. I hear a cat. Oh, nice. Anyway. Yeah, I was recording all that. Good. Now then. Spit over there. I need to take this off. Is it going to be a good take off or is it going to be a pain in the ass? You got to love them though. So of course it's going to be a pain in the ass. Pro tip, all 11 millimeter bolts are a pain in the ass. But Jane, lift it easy, you dumbass. I need 
two eleven mils. Can I get away with a ten mil? Uh, no, I cannot get away with ten mil. Another eleven mil. Can you separate that? Not just having that one to get onto here. But anyway, I found out what size the spark plug was. It was twenty-two millimeter. Let's check that out and see how it looks first. Oh yeah, I loosened it earlier. That's why. Oi, that is dirty. The head gap is actually right. Let's look inside that engineer. Oh, I can see the piston. It's wedged. That is a twelve. Ten, eleven, twelve. Where's my ten? Here's the thirteen. That's not a bolt. It's okay, kitty. Some of this stuff is actually real good. We can reuse for self parts. That ain't my cat. Oh, she's got her three kittens playing in the cornfield. On a little corn thing I got out there. Anyway, do this crap. Alrighty. Is it on camera? Yes, it is. Sorry, I have to constantly check because of bullshit. Talking to our kittens, missing my little maze of corn there. Let's take a quick look at that, actually. Aren't they so cute? And Mama is down that way? No. Aw, that is adorable. There ain't no way. That is so damn ador adorable, I can't even imagine. Back to Sarah to port the engine. Pinky there. Now I need to take off one, two, three, four more bolts. I think that little bolt there is a 10 mil. I hate metric. No, it is an 8 mil, or is it going to be Imperial? I think it's going to be Imperial. I think so. I hope it's Imperial. I don't know why so many companies have to use fucking metric. Oh, yeah, because they're going international, so they have to have system for everybody, so everybody can use it because the United States is like one of only three countries that use Imperial. Can't they just have an Imperial market and a metric market, man? Or would that be too expensive? I think it would be too expensive. But anyway, like I was saying earlier, I'm hoping to get the Amazon thing done so y'all can enjoy stuff that I use and stuff that I trust. Although I will say as a disclaimer, if it breaks on you, it's not my fault. It's just a tool I use and the companies 
that may come may have uh, may have defects in their tools no matter what brand it is get everything right. get up here now I need to find an 11 millimeter socket and a wrench to fit it and fit that damn thing I think I'm going to throw a quarter of a long boy That's where this is remotely salvageable. I'm going to be pissed off considering how much time it took me to remove it. Made in USA, Craftsman, this is 13 mil. Perfect. Now I can even find the wrench for it. Is it? Yes, it will. And look at that, it's a Craftsman 2. No, it's a Sears. When was the last time I've even seen a Sears? That is tightening. I need to. Uh, good thing about the plunger, though, this thing has no change on it. I'm gonna pause the video and get the rest of these off. All right, we're back to it. One, two, there we go. Aha, here's the piston and two, go. No, we will not. All right, so if people don't know, that's the piston, here's the cylinder, piston and the cylinder. There's the valves, one of them is gonna be exhaust valve, one of them is gonna be the intake valve. One is going to go up while it goes down, sucking air in, and when it compresses, one of them shuts off, the other one opens right after the explosion. And if we look at the case head, right here, that's where the spark plug is, and that's where it all ignites and goes off. Now, trying to turn this, as you can see, the piston will go up, but it will not go down. But you can see the valves going off. That's a two stroke. Huh. But you can see the piston ain't moving, so it's fucked. Pretty cool little design. It's actually pretty simple if you think about it. And it's all by cams. Not cams in this one, I don't think. Basically what happens is while well, this turns and the engine goes off, it's going to push up and down these little valves at a particular rate, the same way that this piston is. So after this piston goes up, it compresses, closes, closes, this opens, exhaust comes out, you can tell from right here, and then air gets put in with the fuel mixture after it goes down, and when it comes back up, that opens up after every half of the combustion and sucks air out. Now you know. Now how am I gonna get let's see is that size torx bit crap. I don't know why they have to use a fucking torx bit on this. It hardly ain't worth shit. Torx bit that is. Alright this is part two, part three will be coming out in a day or so.